Welcome to DOS Geek. I want to show you how you can get Streets of Rage 4 working. The first thing you need to do, of course, is enable Steam Play for all of the titles that are Windows only games. That's the amazing thing about Steam and Proton. We can play Windows only games. Now, the current version is 5.0-6, but we're not going to be able to use that. That will allow us to install the game, but it will not allow us to play the game. We need to set up beta version to do that or the testing version. So this screen's flashing by here. I'm gonna have a link in the show notes. You go into your settings. You're gonna choose Steam Beta Update under Change under your account, and that's gonna allow you to have beta. Then you're gonna go up to your little cog wheel on your library folder and choose Tools, just like I did here. That's gonna have an option that will drop down in your games called Proton 5.0. You're gonna click on the cog wheel to the right, go to Beta, and then you're gonna choose Next as your option. And this is gonna allow us to use the testing version, the next version coming up of Proton before it's officially out. And that, my friends, lets us play Streets of Rage 4. So you can slow down in any of those parts, but those are the steps you need to take to play. And now you can see it launches. One of the only issues I've seen so far is the loading screens take forever in between rounds. And I'll show that here, I'm not gonna cut it out, but other than that, it's amazing. By the way, if you need tutorials like this, you can head to DigitalOcean, the sponsor of this channel. Go to do.co slash DLN, get your $100 credit. We're gonna play some story mode here and show you all about this game. This has been so much fun. So I went with Cherry because got a guitar. Looks pretty cool. Why not? Got a nice storyline here. But look, you're not gonna really, uh, need to catch up on the storyline the whole point is beat stuff up but if you're interested in the storyline of this game then at least they kind of fill you in on what's happened up to this point in streets of rage Now you can kind of experience some of the loading times here. Obviously, this isn't a graphically intensive game, so the fact that it takes so long to load, well, you're running an emulation layer, really, so this game isn't made to run on Linux, but thanks to Valve and all the work they do, they love Linux, and they want gaming to take off on Linux. You've got the work of Code Weavers in there with Valve partnering together to create Proton which allows us to even play these games at all in Linux, which is amazing. And you're gonna see the performance once it does load is fantastic. But I wanted to give you the real experience of how long the load times are, because it is annoying, but it doesn't keep you from enjoying the game. Finally. But once in the game, you're not gonna notice any slowdowns or issues. Everything runs really smooth here. And of course, I don't know any of the controls, so you can go ahead and control comments below about how bad I suck at gaming. I'll allow it this time, because it's fair. got all kinds of different moves and things combos that you can put together i didn't know them here but when you go to the start screen which i'll show later on you'll actually be able to see some of the different moves and specials that you could do but if you do your special too many times you lose some health apparently every time you run it so you might kill yourself i like how you have the back kick option for when people get behind you i thought that was pretty These guys with the knives, I mean, who holds a knife like that? But apparently it's very effective, so I don't know. Next time I get in a knife fight, I'm just gonna hold it like that and see what happens. I'm sure it will go well. I really love the background scene. To me, it reminds me of kind of like a cyberpunk dystopian future here. Everything's kind of run down, but you've got the 
Vegas lights everywhere. Very, very cool. I think the music is reminiscent of the game, the original Streets of Rage, so I'm okay with it. It's not my favorite soundtrack, but I think it's pretty decent. There are definitely better, it gets better at the different levels that you go to. There, it's not something that you're gonna wanna turn off or even play a different soundtrack over. I think it kinda plays to the nostalgia of this game. The overall look of the game, the fighting style, the playability was fantastic. I honestly, recording this, can't wait to get back in and play it again. I just feel like they nailed all the basics so far in the few levels that I've played. You've got the updated graphics, but you've also not taken away from the original feel of the game. Get some. Look at those mad skills. Ten hits in a row. Like a boss. It's hard to enjoy some of the background scenery. Reminds me of Street Fighter a little bit where the people kind of repeat the same thing over and over again. But if you look in the background in that roasted chicken sign, there's a lady drinking from what looks like a wine bottle directly. Cool little things like that that you'll miss if you're playing the game directly, but watching back and kind of getting time to enjoy the scenery. I like that you can pick up weapons. Very cool addition, of course, just like the original. Heading down instead of heading sideways kind of gives you a feel that the game's more open than it is, not just a side scroller, though it is. You know, that ability to kind of head down at an angle versus just going to a side scroll, I thought was pretty cool. I love that scene. I thought that was so awesome. Really surprised me. Kind of came out of nowhere. So that first soundtrack wasn't my favorite, but I kind of dig this one. I really like the sound on this level here. There we go. Got my special move there. Very cool to see. Love that. Love the special move. I can't wait to play the other characters and see what special moves they have. You can also see the reflections in the water there. The puddle that's on the ground. Just little details like that. You can see some replication of the girl drinking from the wine bottle, but they've added another figure back in there uh, drinking the bottle too. I thought they just did so good on this overall. I love the art style. I love the feel of the game. It's $24 on Steam. I think it's on sale for $22 right now. I think it's worth every penny of it, honestly. For the joy you'll get out of it. If you're a Streets of Rage fan, you're gonna love this.
This game originally came out August 2nd, 1991. And you got Streets of Rage 2 in 1992, and Streets of Rage 3 in 1994. Again, we're going to have that really long loading time. I'm going to skip it here. All right, so now we get to look at a new level, and you've got some rats scurrying around. You've got the destroyed subway in the back. You see you've got some different environment variables here with the electricity, but what I love is it also affects the bad guys, and that's such an annoyance in games when there's environment variables like electricity or fire, and the bad guys just walk right through it. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you go check out Streets of Rage 4. I think it's a really cool game. I love that you can get it to work on Proton. Thanks so much to Valve and Code Weaver's team for that. Please let me know in the comments below if you are an original Streets of Rage fan, maybe what gaming system you played the Streets of Rage series on, or if you're gonna check it out, never played it before, this will be your first run. I think you're gonna enjoy it just as much. Thank you so much for all the love and feedback, all the amazing subscriptions we've received recently, over 12,000 subscribers. How's it so? Fantastic community. Thank you all for your continued support. Check out do.co slash DLN to get that $100 credit from Digital Ocean. Those awesome people sponsor the entire Destination Linux network. I'm gonna let the rest of the game play out without me talking. So until next time, Enjoy the rest of the game footage and get out there and fill your brain. Don't forget to stop.